In this video, we're going to take a look at the contact digital displacement sensor from Panasonic. The HGS series, well, it's extremely accurate and has a ton of features built into it. Today, we'll look at a basic setup in order to measure and differentiate three feeler gauges with a 10 micron difference in thickness. I mounted the touch sensor to a linear actuator. Press and hold the right arrow key on the sensor controller for two seconds in order to go into the menu settings. Next, press and release the down arrow to go to the basic mode. Then, press and release the right arrow key until you come to the teach function. Make sure it's set for teach one. Then, adjust the tolerance. In this particular case, we're going to set the tolerance for 0 0.01 millimeters or 10 microns. Press the enter key and then the right arrow key to go to the preset value. The gauge piece we're going to use in this case is 0 0.11 millimeters, so we're going to set 0 0.11. Then press the exit key two times to go back to the run screen. The next thing you do is you take the gauge piece that you want to measure, in this case it's a 0.1 millimeter feeler gauge, and put it underneath the sensor. I then adjusted the linear actuator until it pressed down onto the gauge piece. Short press the preset key with the gauge piece under the sensor to calibrate it. We now see 0.11 on the display. Press and hold the left arrow key for two seconds to go to the teach one mode. Then, press the enter key and the tolerance value that was entered earlier is now set. Now when I raise and lower the actuator, my display will read around 0.11 millimeters. You'll also notice the green LED light and also output two indicator. That is considered good condition. I can then put in a different size feeler gauge. Here's a 0.12 millimeter feeler gauge underneath the sensor head. And when I lower the actuator, I'll see a value somewhere around 0.12. The other thing you'll notice is that I no longer have the green OK or GO signal, I have output 1 turning on, showing that that is a bad part. I can also go the other direction and put a 0 0.10 millimeter feeler gauge underneath the sensor, and then adjust the actuator. Now when I move the actuator, the display will read around 0 0.10 millimeters. You will also notice that output 3 is on. So this is a very quick and easy way to set up high go low tolerance check on your parts. If you found this video informative or helped you in any way, please consider giving us a like. Also, remember you can find us on our website, ramcoi.com, or 800-280-6933. Thanks for watching.